this mail-in voting, okay, I, 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 I'm throwing this out. If anyone has seen this, there was a woman online. She, she has a mail-in ballot. I guess it's for the primaries. She, and and uh, there's a serial number on the ballot, you know, on, on the outside of the envelope. And on it, on her ballot had an R. And her brother, who has the same address, this had a D in it. And he's a Democrat. So the way these mail-in ballots are operating, you can tell if the person receiving it is a Republican or a Democrat on the outside of the envelope. And we were talking, here you've got the Postal Workers Union has endorsed Biden, and now the Democrats are trying to turn the election over. They might as well let SEIU and ACORN run the election. So... So the Postal Workers Union endorses Biden, and then they're going to handle the election when you can tell on the outside if it's a Republican or a Democrat that's getting the ballot. Are you kidding me? I got a call from someone confirming this um, about 40 minutes ago on the show. Let me tell people what I'm talking about. <clears throat> well, well, I, um, sometimes we're on the cutting edge here, and we pick up on things that the, the rest of the mainstream media are slow to pick up on. Um, this is huge, huge story, okay? And I got confirmation from a Broward County voter about 40 minutes ago, live on the radio. I, and these mail-in uh, ballots, on the outside of the envelopes, they have a, like a serial number, a code on the ballot on the outside of the envelope where anyone can see it and it's filled with a bunch of numbers and it includes the letter of the party you are a member of. So if you're a Democrat, there's a D on the front of the envelope. If you're a Republican, there's an R on the front of the envelope. That means the postal worker who's a member of a union that just endorsed Joe Biden this past week knows whether or not that ballot belongs to a Republican or a Democrat. It's hard to that story actually that's not what's hard to believe what's hard to believe is that no one has picked up well i'm i'm a i picked up it is true i i it is true <clears throat> it is true i got a call from a broward county voter confirming it uh, less than an hour ago Broward county voter that doesn't what does that mean it means it's on their ballot it, they, they said it's true it's not in the new york post come it's not because steve because i noticed it before anyone else in the country has I picked up on it. I saw this online last night, and I picked up on it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm ahead of the game. Problem. Well, you're in tune with what's going on live, that's for sure. The question is, is that accurate? Because it is accurate. I, I've seen it in multiple sources now. That um, One woman, uh, she, her brother and her live in the same house. He's a Democrat. She's a Republican. She showed both of their ballots, same address, his has a D on the front. He's a Democrat. Her has an R on the front. She's a Republican. How, how do you... How, who, who is the woman? She was. She put this on Twitter, and then I got a call in the last hour. Steve, I, let me say it again. I got a call... No, it's a radio story, because I'm making it one today. Um, I got a call in the last hour from one of our listeners, a nice lady here in Broward County, and she said in Broward County, the ballots on the outside also tell you if it's a Republican or a Democrat, using her own ballot as an example. And she went on to tell us that she got two ballots for other people that uh, she doesn't know that lived in her house long ago that she could have filled out. So the postman knows, the mailman knows whether it's a Republican or a Democrat ballot. That's not good. Let me ask you, all right, let's try this another way. Do you think Donald Trump knows about this? I don't think anyone knows about this um, uh, because I think I picked up on something really early here that no one else has picked up on. I'm sorry that I got it first, but yeah, it's true. And and those of you that have your ballots at home, call us. I mean, I, you know, I mean. Anyone out there that can shed some light on this, I just, it does not compute to me that, I mean, if that, let's say the story is 100% true. Uh, the fact that the, the New York Post would not even mention it. Steve, I, they have, no one's picked up on this yet. I am the first person to pick up on this. I know that it's hard for you to believe that I'm ahead of the game on something, but it, it happens. <laughs> I'm not attacking you. Well, you're, you're attacking me. You're... I, what a great way to start the weekend. We have an issue between you and I concerning the Internet. 
You view it as gospel. Steve, I got a call from a lady, uh, one of our listeners. I got a call in Broward who had her ballot in her hand and was telling me that it's true in Broward County. It's not just something that's online. So easy. If, in fact, let's assume the story for a second is true. If it was true, it would be it's true. People just to, just to destroy all the Republican. Correct. The which of correct? Yes. And it, the fact that this, if it was a legitimate story, and became public. It is legitimate. Steve, I'm ahead of everybody on this. This is I know this is hard for you to believe. I am ahead of everyone in the country about this, on this. And and I'll tell you, the Postal Workers Union just endorsed Biden, okay? So, I mean, you might as well have SEIU handling the ballots if you're going to have the post office handle them. It is true! Convince me how important it is. Now, listen, ballots are different because... It has progressed on the radio this morning here on the Steve Kane Show, the longest running radio show in Florida. It's beyond the it, uh, Steve. I just picked up on this before anyone. Don't you understand? I'm just ahead of the game now. Every ballot, every ballot is different by county. Each county has its own ballot, and at least in Florida, and it's throughout the country. It's this way too. There's not a uniform uh, Florida ballot. But uh, and it may be it, it may not be true everywhere, but I'm telling you it is true in some places. Oh, hi, good morning. Yes, I'm just calling regarding the uh, ballots. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania for the primary we had in June. For the primary we had in June, um, I received okay. a mail in ballot. Um, the mail in it, it had an internal envelope marked Republican. And the outside envelope was also marked Republican. That's well, of it's no, it's not. It, it, it's a lit. It's it's still very bad. The the listen. The mailmen are liberals. The postal worker are liberals. They just endorsed Biden and Kamala Harris. They should not have any. It, listen. If, if you get the primary ballot and it says Republican and then you get the general election that doesn't say it, they know you're a Republican. They know your ballot's a Republican. They delivered your Republican ballot. And, I, and it, this is bad news and this is very dangerous for our democracy. Good morning. Um, not going to give my name, but I'm a poll watcher for our county. Steve Kane Show. I'm looking at my wife's ballot and I can tell you that it's got the precinct number and then another number under it that's called the ballot style. And in this case, it's got three numbers and a letter. And the letter is the party. Mm. Wow. And, and is that a Republican? Do you have any... And, it, and it's right in there, the there is. window. It's right in the window when you look through the envelope that's mailed. From All right. Window. So look, can, if I could do, if I could... Ask you a question. Do you have any theories as to why this hasn't become an issue up till now? Or you or you, I mean, Brian's story is that he's in. He found it early. Yeah. That today it's going to be over. I didn't say by the end of today. It's a huge story. I, <clears throat> story. Is it true? I can just I can just tell you that I've been told by Howard and Peter Nancy. I've never seen it where the ballot. Or the mailing envelope that yeah. the outside envelope actually tells the ballot. Now I've never seen that either. The envelope. Yeah, that's outrageous. That's outrageous. And and Steve, if you you, you probably the, the postman. County. No, it's elsewhere too. And I didn't say you're going to hear it anywhere today, okay? We are so far ahead of the game on this. I hope everyone picks up on what I'm picking up on. But, um, I mean, I've got sirens going off in my brain. What about you, Carla? You're a poll watcher. Is this frightening to you? Yes, they shouldn't be disclosing what's inside the ballot. That's correct. I uh, have the ballot mailed to me. Nothing is on the ballot that was mailed to me. I voted... Uh, early, by the way, so I didn't use it. I have the envelope. I have the envelope, and uh, there's nothing on... Where are you calling us from? From Lauderhill. Well, I, I've talked to two people, actually three callers today, 
One of them was a poll watcher. Well, there was a woman who called me earlier that had her ballot in her hand, and she's. <clears throat> Do you have it in your hand? No. Not. There's no number. Not on the outer envelope, but on the envelope that I would return my ballot oh. in the back where you sign your name. And okay. Over in, the opposite, over in the opposite corner, your name is typed, and <laughs> under that, there's a number with an O. Ah, so it's on the return envelope. So, see, I was right. Oh, my goodness. So, And that's the one that, that the mailman will see. It's a scandal.